what is up you guys welcome back to another video today we got little jacob in the seat and i have not given him a haircut in about a month so you guys already know it's been high skin fade season i've just been enjoying doing these high skin fades it just allows their heads to be a lot cooler this boy's been running hot his hair is thick you guys you can't really tell in the video but trust me it was really long so after brushing the hair in the position that it should naturally lie down with the Andy Slimline Pros, let's go ahead and create that first guy line. Remember I said I'm going to do a high fade, so I'm starting this guy line off pretty high. And I'm going to just go ahead and trim everything down. This boy had so much bulk, you guys. I had to go over these spots multiple times. Look at that. Crazy. If I was actually thinking while I was cutting his hair, I should have just grabbed my clippers with all that bulk and trimmed it down. It's a lot easier, you guys. It's just a habit for me to use my trimmers a lot when I'm cutting hair. But with this next step, you guys are probably like, what the heck? Don't worry, I knew I was going to be pushing this hair up pretty high, so I didn't want to waste any time by doing all these extra steps. So with the number one guard, I'm going really high. Uh, almost up to his crown area I'm just gonna leave a little bit of hair up on that upper area that way I could blend it down with uh, blending comb that way I can leave a little bit of darkness so it doesn't look too bald on the side of his head before I do cut anybody's head with these bronze series nines I always put them on my cleaner and sanitizer station the machine does all the work and then I'll spray them down with my Oster sanitizing spray once they've dried and finished their cleaning cycle from that number one guard i went ahead and switched to the half guard and i'm just going to keep closing that lever little by little until the line starts fading out as low as it can i did grab my magic clippers with no guard on and closing the lever until i get to the all the way closed position i'm just going to be attacking that line and once that's complete i got these wall wireless clippers that'll help just bring that line down as low as I can get it. This is the number one guard and I'm just blending in at that one and a half that we had up there earlier and right after that we'll knock it down probably with a half guard right there there it is. Now one of my favorite parts is using the blending comb. I don't know why you guys just scooping the hair up and blending it out. It's just so satisfying, it, especially seeing like the results, the hair getting nice and cleaned up and just looking better by each step. I don't know, it's dope you guys. When using the blending comb, if you notice that it's not cutting, go ahead and maybe use it with no guard on. Usually I'll just go at it with like a one guard on just because I like the way the blend looks most times when I have the number one guard, but don't be afraid with the comb to just keep lowering that lever and it'll keep blending it out as if you had normal guards on the clippers itself. So remember earlier that I used the number one guard all the way around the head going up pretty high. Now I was blending out that one guard with the half guard and with no guard on, I'm going to be closing that lever, opening and closing it, just depending on the length of the hair back there, but just blending it out as good as I can. And I like to switch back to these magic clippers. They just really put a nice blend and help me get that line down as low as I can get it, only because I haven't zero gapped the Ion Extremes yet. Now I'm going to part his hair. I just sprayed it down with a little bit of water. I didn't put any product in it yet. And I'm just going to go around with my blending comb and clean it all up all around the head. Get the sides nice and blended out. I don't have any guard on. And I'm just going to go from wherever the direction the hair is growing. On the side of his hair where it's parted, if you do prefer to use thinning shears, by all means, go ahead. It'll give it a nice look as well, just like these clipper over comb does the number one guard is attached and the video is sped up I'm not cutting his hair that fast but I'm just closing the lever and doing a nice flicking out motion like always I'm going back to this side of the head and just gonna do cleanup work from here you guys During this part, his hair was being a little stubborn. It took me a little bit to get that line in the back blended out, 
but eventually I do get it you guys I just had to put a little bit of more work in than usual It's time to clean the top of his hair. This boy's hair was very long up front and I really wanted to trim it down. So I'm just gonna do a nice little scooping up motion with a comb, pulling it up into my fingers and cutting whatever sits over the fingertips. I'm gonna try and get it as even as possible all the way around and I'm just going section by section. And throughout when you guys are cutting, don't be afraid to kind of brush the hair down, maybe get some of the hair out that falls onto the head. Uh, that way you can just make sure you're cutting it evenly all the way around. Dang, hey for real, that beat went hard though. But right here, we got the blending comb with the thinning shears. If any of you guys know of some good thinning shears and just your regular shears that are very good but also affordable, comment them down below. That way I can go ahead and check them out. With my Andy Slimline Pros, I'm going to go ahead and detail his line right there. Not going to use a straight razor, just going to kind of keep it looking natural. And the Andy Slimline Pros, when you flip them upside down, they be making the haircut pop. You can do some designs with them if you want, especially if you zero gap it. Alright y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I was getting down to that. I cut all, everything I said, I was like, nope, forget the tutorial. Y'all just start dancing, getting hyped during that, I don't care what y'all do, but right here, I put the gel in his hair, you guys, that Johnny B, brushed it, I'm gonna go ahead and use the straight razor. Now I did say I wasn't gonna use the straight razor on the line, which I'm not. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all those hairs he has sitting on his forehead area, just so I can make the front of his lineup pop. But that is the end of the cut, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the way the cut came out. It was definitely a process, as you can see. Jacob yawning right there. He's ready for a nap. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.